How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, and man, oh man, the announcement has hit. I know, Generation 6. That's right, Generation 6. Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. That is pretty wild, actually. Um, now, I'm playing this on Tuesday right now. This is going to be Wednesday's episode, so I'm going to actually go on over to the bug catching contest. Since it's Tuesday when I'm playing it right now, so, that seems like a good idea. Might as well pick up these apricorns. And on my way, I think I'll, uh, I'll talk about the games. I know, it's really crazy, huh? Um, man, some of the starters, the three starters, what is it? Cheese pin and the forky, fro, froki, that's it, I know. I, uh, their names are gonna take a little bit to get used to. It's cheese, chess pin. Like chestnut. I keep wanting to say cheese pin. It's like every time I see its name in the comments, it's like cheese pin. It's a cheese pin. Yep, it's got to be a cheese pin. Um, and that doesn't even make sense. And then there's uh, yeah, cheese pin or chest pin is the little. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It's like a chestnut. Um, porcupine thing, I guess. I I don't even know. I don't even know. And then there is, um, oh, what is it? The froggy, which is the froggy thingy, which is pretty adorable. And, of course, there is, um, Fennekin. Fennekin, Fennec, Fennec, that's it. <laughs> I'm doing this from memory, I'm sorry. It's, I'm so low on sleep right now, I woke up at 4.30 just to cover this, and I've been doing it all day, all day, and it is just crazy. Today's Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug type Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah, I'll do it in a moment. I just want to make sure I'm using the right Pokemon for the job. I'm gonna use Cantaloupe here, since she is pretty much indestructible. Okay, now, this is how it's going to work. You see, I only get one chance to catch a Pokemon. Whatever the first Pokemon I run into here, that's the only one I get a chance to catch. This is not going to be like um, the Safari Zone, which I may do something different later on. But for the bug catching contest, I'm going to have it. So, uh, you know, if I don't get something or if I knock it out or what... Well, that's it. Whatever my first encounter is, as long as it doesn't trigger dupes claws, that is my encounter. So, let's give it a try. Uh-oh, I have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Cantaloupe, the first Pokemon in your party. Oh, sure. Now, you know, there was another issue that came up in the last episode, and I feel really bad about it. But the more I think about it, the more I realize, you know, it's probably okay. So, I caught another Raticate, right? And that's because I had not yet evolved Carrot. Well, as it turns out... Oh, I can't. Where's my Pokemon? Oh, there it is. That's weird. Uh, as it turns out... Well, hold on. Let's see. What's my encounter here? The first thing I can try to catch is... Holy smokes! It's a Scyther. Are you kidding me? Oh, life is good! Wow. Now I just have to catch this darn thing. Okay, don't do too much damage now. I want this thing to be, like, pretty much the most awesome Scyther ever. So I'm just going to try to catch it at full health if I can. That would, uh, that'd give a lot of points if I ended up catching it. Oh, I don't like Leer. I should be careful. Um, darn. I don't really have anything that can even hit it. Rock Throw would knock it out for sure. Huh, maybe I shouldn't have used Cantaloupe. To be honest, I wasn't expecting to run into a Scyther. Okay, well, I got a, I got some time for it. So anyway, I caught Eradicate, and that was before I'd evolved Carrot. So Dupes Claws did not trigger, no problem there. The problem is, I accidentally named it after a vegetable. I named her Parsnip. 
And that kind of goes against my naming theme of naming the, uh, oh, you were so close, darn it. Of naming the, uh, oh, false swipe. Oh, please let that be all you have. That'd be so cool. Uh, it went against my naming theme. And it's because I always name my female Pokemon after fruit. Well, guess what? Parsnip is not a fruit. <laughs> but at the same time, it's one of those weird exceptions anyway. So, I mean, I'm kind of seeing she's like related to, to uh, carrot in a way. And turnips, or not turnips, parsnips and um, carrots are kind of like in the same family. So I'm just going to kind of keep that. You know, it's going against the theme. I don't like to do that, but I was too preoccupied in trying to find a, um, oh, Pursuit. Oh, jeez, please don't hit too hard. Oh, man. What do I even do? I should just Defense Curl. I could totally miss catching the Scyther. That'd be a shame. Ugh. Darn it all. Actually, what do I do? I'm gonna try one more and then I'm gonna get out of here. I just forgot I can't heal. Ah, so close! Darn it, come on, survive! Ah! <sighs> oh. What the heck? I can't heal. Ugh. You! You Scyther! Ugh, if he uses Pursuit, I'm dead! Of course, if he uses any of its other moves, I have to kill this thing. Oh, man. How did this happen? Maybe I should have used. Ah. Ah. All right. Well, there's nothing I can really do now. If I try to run, it'll use pursuit, and I'm dead. Although I could try to catch it. Oh, I hate this. Why can't I use healing items? Oh man. This is so hard. I, I just... Uh, I don't know. I feel so helpless right now. Rock Throw would end it, but it will strike first. And I could use Pursuit. I could catch it. Oh, man. What are the chances of me catching it? I've used, like, ten. Because that would be the ideal solution. Because the thing is, if it uses Pursuit, I'm dead, no matter what. So catching it would be the only way I could get around that death. Ugh. Shoot! Cantaloupe! This can't happen to you! I can't run, either! I can't switch? I don't have anyone else! No, this is so sad. I don't want her to die alone. Oh, that'd be just the worst. I don't want to take a chance running. Okay, okay, it's okay. Just relax. Cantaloupe, you can do this. Catch that Scyther. I ugh. just, I don't know. This is so hard. I don't... You have to do it. You have to. Otherwise, there's a one in four chance you're gonna die. And there's probably less of a chance. Oh, I hate this, and I hate it when it's on camera too, where it's like, you know, I'm thinking this all through, and I, I just, oh, I don't want to make the wrong move. Cantaloupe, you've been such a trooper. I never would have thought a Scyther would do you in. Okay, just believe. Just come on. Come on. 
You can get out of this leg. Or er, cantaloupe, I believe in you. No. Well, now what? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh! Cantaloupe! It showed mercy, but... Oh, if I make the wrong decision... Then you're just dead. Jeez. How hard is it to catch one of these things? I have to, like, I have to look this up, like, right now. I mean, I, it's just one of those things that's, like, I'm going to just probably cry. And that would be really bad. Okay, Scyther. I just, I don't know. So, apparently there is a... Roughly a 10% chance of catching it. So I should have caught it by now. Ugh. I don't like these odds at all, but I don't like the odds of getting nothing and... Shoot, sorry. I don't mean to be taking up your time. Okay, come on, cantaloupe. You can catch this thing. I just have to try. Stay in there, Scyther! No! Come on, don't use Pursuit, please! No! No! Cantaloupe! Oh, and a critical hit at that. Well, I mean, I guess there was nothing I could do. If he used Pursuit, attacking it wouldn't have done anything. Oh, no. Well, I guess I lose. No! Oh, I could have caught a Scyther! That would have been so cool! I had to go for it, but man, I just, I didn't even realize I kept using Leer. That was the worst. Oh, a Shed Shell. Oh, no, Cantaloupe, you're just a shell now! You're a shell of your former self. Oh, and that's so sad. You're even all revived, too. Oh, man. That is terrible. That is just terrible. Turn it. What will you do now? You weren't even together when that happened. Oh, oh man. That is a real shame. Shoot. That was one of those really tough decisions. Like, you have no idea. I should have caught that Scyther. Statistically, I should have. And I didn't. And I guess I could have run. Or used Rock Throw. But if it used Pursuit, it would outspeed me. And it's like, I, I don't know. Sometimes you're better off taking the chance. Darn. Well, that's just how it goes. I'm sorry, Cantaloupe. Oh, man. And I'm sorry, Turnip. <laughs> this is harsh. But I guess that's just how it has to be. Man. That was, that was a really tough one. You know, the thing is, like, in a situation like that, you know, I don't... I don't really think, like, I made a mistake, but I just made a hard decision. And I think those are... Arguably the toughest ones. Actually, mistakes are the toughest thing to recover from. Critical hits and, you know, those unexpected things you get over. It's like, man, you know, it stunk, but there was nothing you could do. With this, it's like, I feel like I should have caught that Scyther. I came so close. And the odds were in my favor. And I just, I don't know. I'll have to live with it. But that's part of the Nuzlocke challenge. That's part of the Wedlock challenge. So let's give one final farewell to Cantaloupe, who has fought so bravely.
that's that. I'm so sorry, Cantaloupe. I never should have sent you in. I thought you'd be able to withstand anything, but I guess in the end, you just... I don't know. Sorry. Farewell, Cantaloupe. I guess you couldn't elope after all. Wow. What this means is now I can pick a female Pokemon from my PC to replace her with. And that is going to be interesting. Now, see, this is, like, a lot of people are complaining about the whole gay nuzzle, or gay wedlock thing, you know. Oh, well, this is discrimination, this is unfair, or whatnot. Well, this is why it makes such a difference, because now I am restricted to the Pokemon that I can withdraw from my PC. Like, I could be like, I totally want to use that Abra, that would be awesome, but I can't, because he's male. And same thing with, you know, Sudowoodo or Spiro or Spinarak. I mean, it's like I can't use any of these Pokemon. Or even my Nidoran, I can't use them. And that's part of the restriction. I'm limited as to who I can even um, withdraw. Although, you know what? There is one thing I'm going to do really quick. Um, I'm going to... Let me see. I'm going to pick up that Eevee. Oh, I don't really want to have to do that right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to pick up the Eevee. So right now, um, right now you're just a lone wolf. Poor turnip. <laughs> and let me get everyone rearranged here. Now, I am playing by the rule of not depositing things. But if you wanted to pick up a gift Pokemon like Eevee, that's fine. No problems there. So, one thing to keep in mind about getting a gift Pokemon is if you are not playing it by the, um, you know, if you're not getting something that you can use right away. For instance, I have Pokemon in my PC. I have to swap out with one of those before I can just pick up a gift. Even if my Eevee were female, I couldn't use it because it wasn't one of the ones in my PC, okay? Kind of makes sense. Um, but, you know, you, you can't swap something out right away. <sighs> Man, that was so rough. Stupid Scyther taunting me. That was my first encounter, too. That would have been so cool to catch. And I got a little ambitious, but I don't think I got over ambitious. It was a really tough decision to make. Oh, man, was it tough. It was not right. 10% chance of catching it. I use 12 balls on it and I don't catch it. I mean, you know, what do you expect me to do? Well, I'd forgotten I couldn't use items in there, to be honest. I guess, realistically, I probably should have been using lettuce. I just forgot. Oh, yeah, you're limited to the one Pokemon and you don't get to heal. That's really the biggest drag. Ugh. Anyway. Whatever. I'm going to pick up this Eevee, regardless of what it is. Oh, and if you get a gift Pokemon and it's of the same gender, you have to deposit it immediately. Um, yeah, I'll take that Eevee. Sure, why not? <laughs> I don't like to be outside. Can I count on you to play with it, Legs? Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, right, Eevee. I knew you'd come through. You're the real deal. Way to go. Okay, I'm counting on you. Take good care of it. Sweet. Legs received the Eevee. Okay, let's give it a nickname. And it is male. So what do I name this thing? I don't even know what I'm going to evolve it. That's the problem. Oh, man. I could name you anything, pretty much. Um... Wow. What do I even name you? I just don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm still miffed by what happened. It's just the worst. It's the worst. I can't think of any, any funny names for an Eevee. I guess I'll call you Celery. You know, like Celery, Eevee, you know, it kind of rhymes. Even though you're not a grass type, I guess it doesn't make sense. I can't get Leafy on. Um... Yeah. Uh, 
We'll call you Celery. That is your name! It shall now be your name. Okay, so these two are not paired, okay? Don't get the wrong idea. I know Turnip, he's not, you know, <laughs> he's not on, ex on an experimental binge after the loss of, of, uh, cantaloupe. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna put him away really quick. Okay, now I have to pick something else. I just wanted to pick that thing up just so I know uh, that I have it waiting for me. All right, little celery. Oh man, so, uh, ooh, ghastly would be kind of cool. This is the fun part. I do get a choice. So whatever it is, it has to be something that is like resistant to grass. I will be in good shape if that's the case. And I actually have several good options. I'm trying to think ahead here. Um, having something that could take on magnemites would be helpful because you're gonna have to fight jasmine coming up oh man and that's not gonna be fun oh man what do i i don't think i even have any good options i mean there's sand troop but then i'm weak to grass and i don't want that uh there is hop up Oh, no, I already have a grass type. Let's go... You know what? Let's go with plum. I think that's a good idea. It's either plum or strawberry. Strawberry would be interesting. But I think plum will be pretty cool. Alright. Alright, we got plum. These two are now paired! I know, except Turnip has to baby poor little plum for a while. Gonna have to get them trained up together. Aw. Um, but now I have to take on my rival. Oh, man. I have to go all the way back. Oh, I should really pick up some fresh water while I'm here. It's running kind of low on that. Ugh. I feel awful. Man. It's just the worst feeling. Ugh. It's like one of those... Those things, like, if you make a super obvious mistake, like, a super obvious mistake, I mean, I've made those, I'm still feeling awful about what happened at the end of my Nuzlocke. Like, I was just totally blind, I was overthinking everything, and I made just two amazingly huge mistakes, and I feel just, I didn't even want to post that video afterwards, I'll be honest, I didn't even want to do this series afterwards. Uh, I just felt so bad. It just really, it just eats away at you. And I don't know. Now it's like, I don't feel like I made a mistake. I don't feel that bad. But I do feel like things should have gone differently. It was so cool running into a Scyther. But I guess I would have been happier if I ran into, I don't know, a Weedle or something. Because then I wouldn't have lost Cantaloupe. Oh, man. That is so sad. And now I'm gonna have to train up my poor little plum here. But that's okay. You know what? Ghastly is just a pain to train early on. Major pain. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm gonna be able to get some Moo Moo milk before too long. Oh, right! That reminds me. I should probably check my berries, huh? Uh, where did my pots go? Oh, look. Oh, yeah. I got some orange berries. Oh, man, the sound of picking berries sounds so different in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, but that's just because I'm so used to hearing it from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. That's my message I get on my phone. Whenever I have a new text message, it makes a little berry sound. Um, so, you know. It's kind of funny. It's like, wait, I can tell the difference. It sounds similar, but it's different somehow. Ah, oh, I'm never gonna forgive myself. This is just terrible. I wanted that Scyther. That would have been so cool. But instead it went and murdered my poor, poor cantaloupe. And now Turnip is left with a plum. <laughs> uh, oh, well, man. I told you a death would happen sometimes. It's always episode 15! What is it with that? It's so weird! I don't get it! 
<laughs> Episode 15, it's like cursed for some reason. Like, I think, what? Then the next death is gonna happen in episode 22? That would be freaky. Because that was what happened in my Nuzlocke. Ah, oh, That was pretty terrible. I'm gonna take the shortcut. I really don't want to have to go through that awful place ever again. Ah, oh, just what I need, Arana. Need Aran! Don't need you. Don't need you. Well, on the bright side, I mean, it's not good. No matter how you throw these dice, it's not good. But I did get past the vital gems I needed Cantaloupe for. Really, there weren't too many other gems left that it would have made a huge deal. I mean, that's not to just dismiss the loss of Cantaloupe, but I mean, you know, all things considered, she served so well in the gems that mattered. So I am grateful for that. Ugh, all right, lettuce. Now, I have another difficult fight coming up here. I have to fight against my rival, arms. Ugh! No getting around that either. Okay, I need to teach Apricot Shadow Claw. Been thinking about that, and you know what? I'm not gonna save it. There's no need. Sure, it could come in handy against the Elite Four, against uh, what's his face, Will. But really, I think I'm so ready to teach to Apricot right now. Uh, okay, we're gonna get rid of Foresight, because it's redundant when you have Shadow Claw. No need for it. No need at all. Unless you feel like headbutting. I guess that'd be okay. I could've teach it, taught it Payback, huh? Right. A historical city. Okay, well... We're going to lead with Apricot, because I think this guy leads with a Ghastly. Oh, right! I need some repels, because you know what? I want to get a Magmar. I'm probably just going to end up with a Coughing. Alright, I got some Repel. I'm probably just going to end up with a Coughing, because they're, like, super common in here. But, I figure, you know what, I might as well at least, you know, take a chance. This place is cool. Um, let's slap that Repel on. Probably gonna get waxed by my rival. Who's this guy? My name is Usain. I'm on the trail of a Pokemon, a Pokemon named Suicune, and you are? Legs, glad to meet you. I heard rumors that Suicune is here, so I came to look. Take a look at the basement through that hole in the floor. There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know, I have tried it many times. All right, well, that's cool. Hey, buddy. My name is Morty. I am at Critique's gym leader. I like death and destruction. Because my old friend Yusin is here on the trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burn Tower. Ecritique has a legend about these legendary Pokemon, Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. As the gym leader of Ecritique, I must have a proper understanding of it. I must. All right, come at me, arms, come at me. Da -da 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 oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon and make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me, who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Oh, but you're gonna battle me. Here, I thought you were gonna pull some grunts out of thin air. All right, time to fight some rival arms. Get this ghastly out of the way before it gets nasty. Ugh. All right, Apricot, try out your new Shadow Claw. So good! I love you, Apricot. Critical hit on the first try. Bayleaf. Oh, joy. Well, that's the thing I'm most afraid of. Well, okay, I take that back. There's actually that Magnemite. And I really should have taught Rock Smash to someone. Oh, this is gonna get messy. Um, first things first. Let's sleep powder that pain. You are getting put to sleep before you set up Reflect or something. Ugh, oh, this Bayleaf is such a pain. Alright, now let's gust this thing. 
<laughs> oh yeah, and last time I used Confusion instead of Gust, and it's because I just, I keep forgetting that, oh yeah, I have Stab Flying, duh. Or more rather, oh yeah, I'm not Stab Psychic, or I'm not part Psychic. Because <laughs> uh, that seriously happens to me. It's like, oh, I just think of Confusion on Butterfree, like peanut butter and jelly. I mean, they just go together. But it is not Stab. Yay, Bayleaf is out of the way. But I have a feeling you're gonna send out your real pain. Oh, the Magnemite! I was worried about this thing. Um, Apricot, you gotta do this. Cause you are not at least, you're at least not weak to lightning. Okay, um, level 18 is kinda nice, but resistance is not. Supersonic, no! Don't like that. Um, let me take a look. Do I have something that can heal that? Oh, I got a person berry. Yeah! Yeah, you have that person berry, Apricot. Don't take none of that Magnemite's confusion. Thunder Wave, jerk! Ugh. Don't want you to do that to me either. Well, at least I have a paralyzed heal. Okay. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Okay, well that was just a waste. Don't hit yourself, Apricot. No! Ugh. Why does this always happen to me? Oh, snap. It's lowering the boom. Ah, yikes. Okay, I have a Petra Berry, but that's not going to heal what's really the problem here. Um. Huh, I'm going to need to use... Ah, I don't even know. I'm going to have to... I got an idea. Okay, this is gonna be a little tricky, but I think I can do it. All right, so I'm gonna switch to Lettuce, anticipating a Sonic Boom. It's gonna hit, and then I'm gonna use Sleep Powder, put, this, put it to sleep, switch back, and everything will be gravy. So let's hit it with Sleep Powder. Cool. All right, before it gets a bright idea and tries to use Thunder Shock against me, I'm gonna switch out. So now Confusion's gone, that's nice. I gotta get rid of that stinking paralysis. Ugh, thankfully I have these Petcha Berries. What do you mean it won't? Wait, oh, Petcha's poison. That's right, that's right. I'm looking for the uh, Cherry Berries. Okay. Well, guess I'm just gonna headbutt it. No, really, dude? Really? No! Come on! Supersonic has 55% accuracy! Why do you have to hit it, like, so- No! Apricot! Come on. Stop. This Magnemite is wasting all of my resources. I don't even think I can do that switching thing anymore. Maybe. Okay, do not hit yourself. Ah! Uh, I have to. <laughs> I just can't handle that. Okay, it's not a boomy or something. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we have to hit that thing with some sleep powder. Well, this is getting precarious. Um. Alright, let's switch for apricot. 
You can do this. All right, now. You know what? Oh, I can't heal. It's paralysis. Okay, we just have to go for the headbutt. Come on! Okay. It's all right. I got some water. But as you can see, you can have all the items in the world and it's not all that easy. You're so restricted to who you can send out and that can be just a pain sometimes. All right, now let's hit this thing with headbutt. Oh yeah, you're not gonna hit me with supersonic this time. No. I'm not going to let you. Okay, now I have to finish the fight. Okay. Lettuce, you can do this. Okay, out of desperation. Weak people sometimes do okay at fighting back. Well, that was very poetic of you. I better heal up just in case. Oh, I should have used the sleep powder, darn it. I keep forgetting. But it's so much smarter to do that. Oh, God, I was hoping it didn't have wing attack. Okay, uh, you got this, though. Okay, hit it with some confusion. Sweet. No! 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 <laughs> Lettuce! Oh, no, that was way too close. That was way too close. Come on, waking up so soon. That's not right. Ugh. Humph. I'm not fighting with another weakling ever again. It's just too much playing around. Aw, oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. Hey! Hey, Morty, you better be inspired by that. Get your butt back to the gym. You're not even gonna talk to me. Well, fine, whatever. Okay, I have to go heal right this moment. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I gotta do that. That was pretty intense. Um, yeah. No, my repel wore off. What's well, fine. I was gonna use another one after that fight anyway. I do still get to try my catch there. Hopefully something good will happen this episode. Man, it's just been the pits. It's like I run into a scythe. I'm still thinking about it, I know. I run into a scyther. I'm like, that's the coolest thing ever. And then it just turns out to be the worst thing ever. Ugh. Why did it have to torment me so much? Okay, well, we're going to... We're gonna do this. I'm gonna lead. No, I shouldn't lead with Plum. Because I need to use the Repel. But if I see a trainer, then I'm going to fight with Plum. Because I need to get her trained up. Okay. I have to go fight those dancing beasts down there. They're just like chilling, like, hey, sup, I'm just waiting for you down in this pit. You know, just just hanging out. No big deal. You know, why did I use the repel? I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just get these dudes out of here. Go on, get, shoo. Shoo away, go. Go, I don't want to see you around here no more. Yeah, you. Yeah, you better run. Did you see it? Suicune raced by like a blur right in front of my eyes. I've been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I've never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. Ecritique's legendary Pokemon are said to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Oh, beat that thing up, man. Anyway, legs, we will meet again. Yeah. I don't know what I meant by that. Um, okay, so let me see about that item finder. Or the dowsing machine. 
Should be really obvious. An antidote. That wouldn't have really helped. That wouldn't have done anything. Okay, where is that darn little thing? Oh, 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 it's down there. I can't get to it. At least I don't think so. Wait, actually, I can move these boulders. I have strength. I just have to teach a Pokemon Star. I don't really care. To be honest, I don't really care. I really don't. Let me just get my encounter here. I have to burn through this Max Repel. It's just you get a little bit better stuff in the basement. You can find Magmar in the basement. And I would rather run into Magmar. And I'm going to have to fight Magmar with Turnip. Yeah, because I don't have Cantaloupe. She was always bailing you out of everything. Turnip, what do you think about this? You don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm going to take that from you. No, it's okay. You can have it. What? All right, fine. <sighs> You're happy to have found something. You're so oblivious. Do you not even realize what has happened? Okay, so my encounter for the burn tower is... Coughing. Yep, that was predictable. That's a 50% chance of running into them, so it's not really a big deal. Let's go ahead and smack that thing with some headbutt. Jerk. What? Oh yeah, I got my shell bell. Yeah, you can smoke screen me all day now. I don't care. Okay, let's just catch this thing. Now, what does that look like, huh? <laughs> oh, that thing. I kind of want to name it Eggplant. I think Eggplant may technically be a fruit. I think. But it's pretty much a culinary vegetable. So I'm gonna name it Eggplant. I, you know, it, it's like, it's a general theme kind of thing. It's, I'm not, I don't have to get into the technicalities. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. If I want to name you Eggplant, I'm gonna name you Eggplant. There, you're Eggplant. You are a vegetable to me. Cool, caught my encounter. That is fine. Now let me fight all these annoying trainers in here. Go away, I don't need you. Oh, and they all use water, or not water, fire types, or other annoying things. Okay, we're gonna have to do this from scratch. I have to train up Plum, that's gonna take forever! Ugh, don't worry, we fire breathers know the true power of fire better than anyone. Well, Gee. Okay, fire breather, Ned. Got a coughing, level 16. All right, whatever. I just fought one of those. I got this. Yeah, turnip. Don't let that smoke screen intimidate you. All right, I'm gonna surf. Put that thing away. Yeah, wash it away, man. That's pretty good. Okay, um, doo -doo -doo. yay, level seven. Level eight, still have a lot of catching up to do. Mean look, Urgh. <laughs> Oh, another coughing. All right, bring it on. Yeah! You look pretty cool, Plum, I have to say. That is pretty nice. Ah, more smoke screen, come on. Don't want to deal with this right now. Let's just surf. Yeah, you are toast coughing. Oh, man. Gonna heal up again. Gonna level up again. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I got this. But I still have such a long way to go. Oh, man. 
I wish I had an experience share. That would be the best thing ever. Other than catching that Scyther, which would have been even better. Oh yeah, I'm so good at singing. Oh my goodness, I should get an award for that. Older Sleuth. Come on, smell me, bro. <laughs> that didn't sound right. <laughs> Come on, smell me, bro. Okay, well. Now that thing is done. Oh, you didn't even gain a level this time. What's the matter with you? Thanks for such a heated battle. You're welcome. Sure. Um, better keep you back here for safekeeping. Just for now. Alright, another antidote. Why are there such bad items in here? Oh, shoot! Shoot, shoot, shoot! I wanted to fight you with my plum. Ah! Charmeleon, what? What? There's no way I can get Plum out there, is there? I'm not gonna chance it. I'm just gonna surf and be done with it. Alright, gonna put that fire out. All that beautiful experience that could have been split. Oh, man. Foosh! Foosh! Foom! Okay. Oops, please don't misunderstand. I'm not the reason this tower is burned up. You arsonist. Uh, can I smash it? I cannot, because I don't have rock smash anymore. Wait, why did... Oh, yeah, that's right. Carrot doesn't go in. Probably isn't even worth my while. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. I don't even care. I'm done caring. Ugh. I'll have to fight a ton of coughing just to get back up on my feet. Man. I have to train up these two. Ugh. And I have to train everyone else up, too. So, yeah, I'm going to want to be prepared for the gym because it can get rather rough. I think level 23 or so would be a good level for everyone. The Gengar is at level 25. So, um, I do have Raticate. Raticate, which is so good. I mean, I can just use Carrot and pretty much win the fight. But it's still going to be a little tricky of a fight. I'm not worried about the Gengar like usual, which is good. But still have a bit to worry about. So I think I'm going to do some training. If anything exciting happens, I'll show you. Don't worry. But otherwise, I'm just going to do it off camera. Um, so I will see you in the, oh, you know what? Let me show you my team first. This is where I'm at right now, just so you know. You know, level 22, 20s, 10. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, oh, and yeah, you know what? How close to leveling up are you? Oh, you just still got a bit to go. I'll make sure I show you Pear evolving. Don't worry, because Pear will evolve at level 21. And I, I've been trying to decide if I want to evolve her to Victory Bell right away or not. I know it's a little different with stones than it is with trading. Because that's something I have the resources for. So I don't feel like there's so much of a, of a stigma to hold back on it. So I'll probably evolve her at level 22 or so. Something like that. But anyway, I will see you in the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon Heart Gold Wedlock. See you next time, fire breathers!